There are so many types of repositories for data today. Each of these come with their own unique take on how to store and interact with the data. Any single organization might use a variety of these to manage their operations. The purpose of an analytical database like Kinetica is to load and analyze data from all of these different sources so that we can have a single streamlined view of a business. But to do this, we have to connect and interact with all of these different types of data sources. So how do we do that? One approach would be to build custom connections to each of these repositories. Now, while this makes sense for repositories that you might use the most often, it is almost impossible to build custom connections to the entire range of databases and applications that are used by organizations around the world. This is where JDBC comes in. JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. It is a standardized API for interacting with databases using Java programs. With JDBC, developers don't have to worry about building custom connectors for interacting with a new database. Instead, you can use JDBC as a middle layer that provides a standardized interface to connect, issue queries, and handle results from a database. The only requirement is that the application or database that you're connecting to has a JDBC driver. Kinetica provides custom native connections to data sources that it is most tightly coupled with. These include streaming data sources like Kafka and object stores like AWS S3, Azure Blob Store, and Google Cloud. But for everything else, we can use JDBC. Now, there are two routes for this. You can either load a JDBC driver directly into a Kinetica cluster, or you could point to a JDBC driver that is managed by CData which is a data connectivity platform that provides and maintains JDBC drivers for hundreds of databases and applications. In this video, we will explore both these routes. First, we will use a C data connector to get data from a Google Sheet into Kinetica. After that, we will load and use a Postgres driver into Kinetica to interact with a Postgres database. CData provides JDBC drivers for popular applications like Salesforce, ADP, Google Drive, etc. These drivers provide an interface for us to load and interact with data from hundreds of different databases and applications. We will use CData's JDBC driver for Google Sheets. CData provides pretty good documentation on how to use each JDBC driver. Our first task is to figure out how to authenticate ourselves so that we can access Google Sheets. Click on Getting Started and using OAuth authentication under that. Since we won't be able to access a browser from within Kinetica's workbench, we will need to use headless authentication. Click the OAuth endpoint for Google Sheets on this page to sign in to your preferred Google account. I've also pasted the link to this page in the video description. Make sure to copy and save the authorization code since we will need that to set up the connection string for CData. I'll be loading data from the Google spreadsheet NYCT2010 that is in my Google Drive account. Sheet 1 from this spreadsheet contains data on the geographic boundaries of the different neighborhoods in New York City. The pattern for the connection string for a JDBC data source is as follows. First, you specify the name of the CData driver. After that, you set the OAuth verifier code that we generated just now. Initiate OAuth is set to refresh. And then we specify the name of the spreadsheet we would like to connect to, which is NYCT2010. Note that the CData connection string is specific to each spreadsheet. This means that we will have to create separate data sources for different Google spreadsheets that we might want to use. Now let's head over to Workbench to create this data source. All we need to do here is specify the connection string. Now that the data source is registered, we can start loading data from it. The general pattern for loading data from any JDBC data source is as follows. You specify the name of the table that you would like to load the data into. And then you express the remote query that would be issued against that data source to get the specific table that you would like to load into Kinetica. In this case, we would like to load all of the data from the sheet one in NYCT 2010 spreadsheet. Also note the specific syntax here, which is the name of the spreadsheet followed by the sheet name. 
Each JDBC driver has its own data model that is specific to the application or database that lies behind it. In the case of spreadsheets, the data is organized by sheets. So the syntax is specific to that data model. Now let's head back to Workbench. Let's first create the table that we will be loading the data into. Kinetica has a pretty robust type inferencing system. So we could opt to load the data without creating the table first. But in general, I recommend creating the table upfront if you already know the schema. We will load into the table that we created just now. The remote query selects all the data in sheet one from the NYCT 2010 spreadsheet. In the options, we need to specify the data source, G Sheets, inside the JDBC schema, which is the one that we created earlier. Let's also specify what to do in case we encounter an error. I'm going to choose skip. This means that Kinetica will skip a row or record if there is an error in any of the values in that row. Okay, so that took about 13 seconds to load. Let's inspect the data in Workbench to see how it looks. We can also preview the data on a map. This is usually a good way to get a quick sense for geospatial data. So that's how you can load data from Google Sheets using a JDBC driver from CData. You can follow similar steps for accessing other databases and applications via CData. Now let's see how we can load a JDBC driver directly into Kinetica without CData to access a database. I will use Postgres for this part of the demo. Postgres is a very popular open source relational database management system. Before we do anything, we need to have access to an instance of Postgres that we can connect to. Ideally with some data already stored in it. Now, if you don't have access to an instance of Postgres already set up on your system, you can use this free containerized version with some sample data that is available via Docker. I've posted the link to this readme page in the video notes. Let's copy this command here and run it to launch the container. I'm going to install this with all of the data sets that come with it. Let's check Docker Hub to see if the container is listed there. And it is. Our next step is to get a JDBC driver. The official JDBC driver for Postgres is available through jdbc.postgresql.com. I've already downloaded a driver from this website. Let's load this into Kinetica. Kinetica comes with its own file system called KFS. Let's create a folder called drivers in KFS and load the Postgres driver from my desktop into it. Now earlier with CData driver for Google Sheets, we set up everything using SQL. We could do the same here as well, but Workbench also offers a path via its user interface. Let's use that this time around. We can add a new data source using the plus icon here. The data source type is JDBC and I'm going to call it Postgres underscore example. Now we need to provide the connection string for the database. This is as follows. This should be the same if you have used the containerized version of Postgres. But just to be sure, you can launch the command line interface for the Postgres instance via Docker Hub. And then you can use the IP command to find the address for this instance. You can find the port number by using the docker ps command outside the container. This will show the port number that the container is accessible through, which is 5432. Finally, we also need to add the name of the schema that you want to access within Postgres. There are several sample datasets that are available through this instance. I'm using Dell Store for this demo. The username and password for accessing the database is Postgres. The driver class is org.postgresql.driver. I actually just searched for it on Google to find it. The jar path is through KFS and it is stored in the drivers folder. Now let's click create. Okay, so that worked. It immediately prompts us to import data, so let's use that. The data source field is already populated for us, so let's click next. Now we need to enter the remote query that will select the data that will be loaded into Kinetica. 
I've already explored the Del Store schema, so I know that there is a products table inside it. Let's select star from that table. Next, we need to specify the table into which we want to load this data into. Let's use the JDBC schema and load the data into a table called products. Now when we click import, Kinetica will create the products table and load data from the Postgres database into Kinetica. Okay, so that worked. Let's preview the data. That looks good as well. So there you have it. Now you can directly connect Kinetica to any instance of Postgres using JDBC. All you need are the relevant credentials for accessing the database and the JDBC driver file. So to summarize, in this video, we saw how to use JDBC to connect a variety of databases and applications to Kinetica. While we didn't explore this in the demo recording, it is also possible to egress data out of Kinetica into another database using similar steps that we discussed here. But I'll leave that for you to try on your own. Thank you for watching.